was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I saw it. Oh, I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I got there. When I, I was astounded when I saw it. How, how did it get there? What was I to do? All right, okay. Edward? Edward? Edward, are you there? Are you there? Edward? Hello? Hello, Edward? It's not Edward, it's Eddie. And don't oh. hit the mic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, but you weren't responding. I don't care. That means you get to hit my Newman U87. And what on earth is a Newman, what's it? It's my $3,000 microphone. Oh. Then there must be some way for us to talk when I have a question, since I cannot see you. There is. And what's that? You open the door there, walk down the hall, and open the door here. Well, your hallway is very frightening and dark. Last time I opened the wrong door. So? So I startled someone in the men's room. It's only a men's room if a man is in there. I'm sorry to say a man was in it, and I don't mind telling you, he was not gracious. You should have knocked. I'm not going to pound my fist on a wooden door. But you'll hit my microphone. I think you need an intercom. What do you think we're talking on? Again, I was calling your name and you didn't respond. It's because I turned the intercom off. Ha. Huh. And uh, what sort of intercom is that? You mean, is there a name for it? Yes. It's called My Intercom. The one you control. Yes. From there. Yes. You and you alone. That's how I fly, Margaret. You think that's fair? Let me think. I built this place, I own this place. I'm the only one that works here. Yeah, my intercom seems to fit. You have a somewhat brutal way of making your point, Edward. I'm not brutal. It's just me trying to make a living. And again, it's Eddie. I understand. No one calls me Edward. I'm sorry again. I, I, I just want to know when we are going to start. Good question. Thank you. We're going to start when I'm ready. Aha! And when will that be? When the equipment is ready. And it's not? Not yet. Why not? It was on. <clears throat> it was off. Yes. So? I suppose you remedied that with some sort of technical triumph? I turned it from on and turned it to off. Or I turned it from <laughs> off and turned it to on. Okay, okay, okay. And that worked? So far, it's promising. Looks so, good. So, can we start? In a minute. A few other things I have to do. You mean there are more technical issues other than on and off? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll be back. Give me a minute. Very good, Edward. It's Eddie. For the last time, Eddie. Wah, 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 ma, 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 ha, 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 butter, gutter, butter, gutter, butter, gutter, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Uh... The menagerie manager was imagining an imaginary menagerie. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I just think of all those puppies. Edward? 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 Eddie, it's Eddie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was brought up in a very proper way, so I use everybody's proper names. Sorry. Lovely. Thank you. They also teach you to hit my mic. Oh, sorry. Are we ready for a sound check? Almost. Okay. I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? Sound check? Yeah, yeah. Looks like I'm ready. Well, what should I say? I mean, what should it be? Aha, uh -huh. Electra from Euripides. My reviews were nothing but raves. Then let me speak. But where shall I begin? Thy insults to recount? And with what conclude? or how pursue the train of my discourse. No, 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 no. It's way too early in the morning for that. I, uh, I'm not in the mood. I'll do some Moliere, perhaps. I had French toast for breakfast. Seems fitting. Good heavens. If everybody was like you, a love story would soon be over. Matrimony ought never happen until after other adventures. A lover, to be agreeable, must understand how to utter fine sentiments, to breathe soft, tender, passionate vows. His courtship must be according to the rules. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. You know, I did a tour of that play. 85 cities in 79 days. And why is the number of cities larger than the number of days, you may well ask. The producers would have us do a matinee in one city and then pack up the costume, lights, and props, throw it in the bus, throw us in the bus, throw a sandwich at us, call it dinner, and have us do an evening performance in another city, greedy bastards, <laughs> increasing their wealth with my genius. But we fought back. Well, anyway, I did. I shame them by being brilliant. But, um, oh, I think I'm carrying on a little too much. Oh, well, we're doing a sound check? Um, a doll's house. Yes, I'm momentarily in a rebellious mood. Seems fitting. You have never loved me. You have only thought it pleasant to be in love with me. And that is the truth, Torvald. And when I was at Papa's house, he had all these opinions. And of course, I had the same opinions that he had. And if I differed, if I thought something else, I concealed it from him because he wouldn't have liked it. He called me his doll child. 
and he played with me just like I used to play with my dolls. Strindberg, oh, Strindberg, there have been few Miss Julies better than I. We must go away, but we must talk first. That is, I must speak because until now, you have done all the talking. I know all about your life now. You will hear all about mine. And when we know each other through and through, then we can start on our journey together. Okay, I'm ready for the sound check. You mean you weren't getting any of that? No, uh, no, I, uh, I didn't hear any of it. I did the last 40 years of Broadway in two minutes. Didn't hear it. I was busy doing other things. Well, you missed something very special. You would have liked it. I'm sure I would have. No loss. Sorry. And while I was doing Electra from Euripides, what were you doing? I was finishing my McMuffin from McDonald's. There's no need to be coarse. I wasn't being coarse. I was being me. How unfortunate. Look, are you ready? Yes, but... Um, but what? I mean, so I was thinking before we begin, is there any chance that we could discuss my character? You know, my backstory, who she is, who she's been, who she hoped to be, is she married, is she divorced, is she uh, a widow? I mean, has she had dreams come true in such an astounding way it made her head spin with delight? Or has she had crushing failures that have given her an undercurrent of despair and sadness? That could be useful to my performance. Could we do that? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's do it once for sound, okay? Of course. I'll go when I hear action. I don't say action. I got a beeper. Listen to me. I have survived 55 major plays, 12 movies, 60 television shows, and three husbands. If I ask someone to say action, I think I have earned that at least. Okay, 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 okay. Look, okay. First, you'll hear beeper, then I'll say action. Thank you. You're welcome. And not just action, it should be and action. The way directors do. Yes, the way directors do. Like in the movies. Like in the movies, yes. Okay, we're rolling. Sapone, molto buono. Test. Oh, I love Italian. Please don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Okay? Sapone molto buono. Take one. And... And action. That was very good. Oh. That's, that's not your line. I know, I know, but I was taken away. I mean, your performance is so realistic. It is so Hollywood. You know, for that brief moment, I was on a sound, sound stage again. A crew of five or six had me in my chair, the one with my name on it. And they were adjusting my hair. My makeup, my costume, while Gustav Beiersdorf begged me to do just one more take. That genius Nazi bastard. Well, I'm glad it brought back memories. Oh, it did, it did, it did, it did indeed. Mm. You feel mm. like working now? Uh, yeah, we can do the test now. Thank you. Okay. We're rolling. Sapone Molto Bono test, take two. I love Italian. Thanks for sharing. And, and action. I was astounded when I saw it. How did it get there? What was I to do? What a terrible stain in my sink. 
but Sapone name Moto Bono, the incredible cleanser from Italy, got rid of it in seconds. Moto Bono is Moto Fantastico. <laughs> and cut. That was a little rough. It was perfect. Too fast. Uh, I liked it. It was almost sloppy, really. Totally, totally perfect. I can't have my name on that. No one will ever know it was you. When I do it again, we'll just... Won't do it again. What do you mean? It was perfect. I can't turn and work like that. I know, but I can. It was perfect. Listen, this is a commercial for a test city in Ohio. See if this stupid Italian cleanser appeals to the, to the common people. Oh, I think I could have done better. I know I could have, I could have done better. I could have done better. You're better than this soap, Margaret. You're better than all the products you make sound classy with your voice. You're an artist. You're a fine actress. Watching someone like you with class do this over and over will only make me more depressed. <sighs> Why don't we go downstairs and get a drink? Where? It's Hollywood Boulevard. There's a bar every 10 feet. I like Musso's. Then it's Musso's. So buy me a drink or two and then point to any table. I will tell you what gorgeous leading man begged me to share a passion with him. <laughs> okay. And buy me another drink. I will tell you to whom I said yes. Deal. And maybe while we're there, I can do some Electra from Euripides. Don't do some of it. No. Do all of it. You can be quite charming, Edward. Edward. Starting to like that, Margaret. Call me Maggie. <laughs> Thank you everyone. Tonight was a short, so um, um, thank you guys. Thank you very much. So if I could have the cast and the crew back. And thank you guys for a wonderful job. And Lisa and Stan. Unable to start video. Oh, just, yes, you can. So here you go. Unable to start. to start. Yes, you can. Go for it. Now you can. I just asked you. Okay. <laughs> I asked you. Yes. Yeah, that's right. All right. Jack, you should be good to go. Jim Gagan, are you here? Rumor has it? Possibly. I'm not sure. Jim is our Jim is our playwright. Good. So I just activated uh, the chat. So I had turned off the chat earlier on. So people are, are certainly free to to chat in if you have any comments, questions, the whole deal. Uh, oh, good. Chat is on. Chat is on and working. So, um, all right. And if you have any questions, oh, cool. We have a couple hand. Oh, here's Elaine. So, Elaine Madsen, you are on. Um, I think you just need to unmute yourself. There you go. Elaine, you're on. We can hear you. Hi, I just thank Hi. you. It was great fun. It was so uh, interesting the way you started out. I, I thought I was watching something else and then you guys just tra transformed it into something really sweet. I liked it. Thank you, Elaine. How are you? Good to hear your voice. I'm good. <laughs> it's been a while. Indeed, it's really, I miss everybody so much. And I, I, I haven't often been able to come to the Friday evening thing because this is the time my husband and I always have a glass of wine. And so we are delaying it today so I could 
share what you have. Uh, fantastic. I'm trying to figure out a way where I can get everybody to have a glass of wine together. So <laughs> here or later, we're going to work that out. All right. All Thank right. you so much. You, I'm so glad I got to Thank see you. Lane. Thanks, Hello, Lane. Hello, whoever's there. <laughs> All right. Sharon. All right. I'm going to leave you now. All right. Bye-bye. Great to hear from you. Bye. Is it me? It's Sharon, yes. Yeah, oh gosh, you guys are so wonderful. Lisa, you know how much I adore you, <laughs> I love you. And you two, Stan and you two were so great together. I mean, this it makes me just want to sit on the floor and cry because it <laughs> hungered, I hungered to see this in person, but you, you really brought it, you really brought it so much alive so very much to the forefront. Uh, Lisa, when you got into all those, you know, uh, <laughs> Stringberg and, and the <laughs> Greeks, I, I, I knew that you could just run with that. And um, Jack, as always, you're so wonderful to work with. You've got a, a wonderful relationship between these two. It's really interesting. Jim writes interesting things. I, I did not want it to end. I really did not. I thought, oh, there's something really mysterious and great kind of relationship going on there. Anyway, it was so enjoyable. I, totally, I, yeah. I don't want to go on and on and on and on, but it, it just, I'm hungering for more. So bravo to all of you. Thanks, Sharon. You know, we have, I mean, every week we're, we're I'm, I'm so thrilled. And then every once in a while, there are these pieces that you want to go on. Um, yeah. but, and this is this is certainly one of them. So, you know, great characters, great actors. So thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, Sharon, the next scene should be at Musso's, right? Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Jim, get writing. <laughs> that's yeah. it. All right. Stu, Stu Berg. Uh, Stu, let me see. I'm unmuting you, so you should be good. Um, all right, you just have to unmute yourself. I unmuted, there you go. I unmuted myself. You are on. I'll give you guys a chance to mute me. But anyway, I got, I got to tell you, it was a, a really, really enjoyable. It was uh, very well done. And Jack, what can I say? You, were, you, you did a really, really interesting job. And it, it was um, it was fun, and uh, I would I'd like to see it done, you know. I think, but we'll have to wait, I guess, until the whole world is healthy again. But kudos, to everybody, and Jim, as usual, you uh, I, I don't know if Jim's on or not, but he's not on my uh, computer. But anyway, it was very well written, very well directed, very well acted, and thank you for an enjoyable time. Thanks, Stu. Thanks, Stu. So we miss you. Miss you too. You're so missed, yes. Don't go far. <laughs> okay, all right, Barry. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you guys, how are you? You look terrific. Hey, Barry. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Hey, nice Hi. to see you Paul. Nice yeah. to see you Paul. Congratulations. Jack, Thank you did a good job with them. Thank you. Good job. You're as talented as your son. Nice. He's very talented. So you go. Guys, you did a good job. Good Thank actors. You. Nice. Nice to see you. Well done. Lovely. And Todd, great that you're doing this. It's terrific. Oh, thanks, Barry. Good, good job, Lisa. Go. Good job, Stan. Oh, thanks, Barry. You know, Barry. so um, Jack called me Monday, I think. And I said, oh, well, I like the script. Jim writes great scripts. Um, when are we going to do it? He said Friday. <laughs> so, that, uh, you know, yeah. so we had very little time. Well, you did good. You did good. You did good. Thank you, Bear. Thanks, Bear. Thanks, Bear. Thanks, Bear. Yes, we, we launched quickly. So, um, and it never really seems to matter because everybody's so awesome, amazing. Um, all right, Dave Field. Dave Field, you are unmuted and... Hello. 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 Having worked with all four of you people, it's lovely to see you all working again. Hey, Dave. And uh, I, 
I want to say to Gagan, who's obviously been through many recording sessions, some of which did not work out too well. <laughs> he, uh, he was able to bring it to life. I, I enjoyed it all. And uh, it was nice and clean and simple and smart and good. Just, I enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Dave. That's yeah. wonderful. Thanks. Yeah, it's, um, you know, this is such, this is such a charming piece. And it is. It, it's short and clean and, and just so, so much heart. Really just a beautiful story between between our two actors. So, Lisa Robbins. Okay, you have to unmute, Lisa. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. uh, great job. Um, I love Lisa, like a tour de force in what, 20 minutes? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I love all your- Probably in two minutes, yeah. All your wonderful different <laughs> styles and, and um, and I I loved your your shifts in persona from the from the nervous actress being in the booth to this you know prima donna you know fabulous stuff and I I and and the counterbalance with Stan was so great and Stan I loved your progression you know in the shift in your relationship as the play progressed so that all just worked so well and of course with Jim's sparkling dialogue as always. And and boy, Jack, you really worked the medium. You know, it it was it was so believable with you guys being in um in your own separate booths. That just worked great. Nice. And you know, and directing toward you know towards and away from the camera is always so wonderful. Oh wait, Jim's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and um, yeah, so great job, everyone. And Todd, nice yeah. suit, babe. Looking oh hey. And yeah. I just have to tell you how great it is to hear everybody's voices, everybody who's commenting. Yeah, miss That's you. so true. Yeah. Yes, there's, there's a lot of family here that, that, that's missed greatly. So, um, you know, we'll take voices in the meantime. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Bye-bye. So Jim, so Jim, our playwright, says, I can't access my video from where I am. I forgot to put a dime in my iMac. Um, I so enjoyed it. Thank all of you. And yes, he's just having a little bit of tech problems. Hopefully, well, Jim, you're still on. So if you could figure out how to do it, we're, we're not kicking you off anytime soon. All right. Uh, Devin. Devin O'Brien. Am I on Hello, Devin. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Happy Friday afternoon. It was, this was really, you know, my only complaint with this is that it's too brief. It's, yeah. really, yeah, I, I really wanted to see the next, I thought we were going to go off to Musso's. I had this fantasy that the two of you would be in the same room all of a sudden. You know, <laughs> but um, it was short, it was sweet, it was beautifully done. I, it was just, what a treat to see Lisa in, in snippets of all those roles. I mean, I really felt her as Nora. I really felt her as Electra. You just did a beauty, and then the Strindberg. It was all gorgeous. So beautiful opportunity for you to get to do that sort of um, medley of great roles. And also, Stan, you were the perfect counterpoint. You know, sort of, you know, the um, the McDonald's dude. You know, that was <laughs> that was really a great counterpoint set up set up by um, the playwright and um, Jack, you did a beautiful job directing these two incredibly talented people. And Todd, you look so handsome. Oh, thank you, Devin. <laughs> I think so too. So happy Friday, everyone. And Todd, again, thanks for Smartphone Theater and, and uh, uh, thanks, Devin. Community Alive, thank you. Talk to you soon, that's yeah. great. All right, Stan, we're gonna get your jacket that says McDonald's dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get McDonald's dude. All right, great. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, let me, I'm going to ask you guys just a, a couple quick questions and everybody's going to get to go home early tonight. And uh, it is a short. So, and very often we'll do two in one night. The, tonight we decided just to do one um, for a number of reasons. And we have just an amazing cast. So I get to be the one to ask the questions. Um, so the fact that there is, that you guys had a short period of time on it, but these characters are so are so deep. I mean, there's really a lot of history to these guys. I'm very curious on what you did. Um, so I, I, you know, when you rehearse, I turn off everything and I just go. So I'm very curious of your approach, if it was a little bit different. Okay, I love you, thanks. How's it going? Good. Hello, Steve. Hi, 
there's Steve. Yeah, he's, Steve. Now he's going to go play tennis. He kept the dog out for 15 right, minutes. Right. He wants to tell Steve to keep his pants on. So Keep your pants on, Don. <laughs> um, uh, rehearsal. Well, I mean, you know, Monday, so we got the script. I looked at it. So I thought, Electra, Moliere. So I, 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 so I tried to find the plays I had. I had Electra. Um, the Moliere, I sort of made up and I know a little bit of Mo. But uh, no, I, I, the reason I wouldn't have minded more time is that, it, you know, you have to find something to get into each of them, each of the plays. And um, that's one of the keys. And, but it's so short. So um, anyway. Oh, you you do the best you can. I tried to read. I tried to read the plays. I then tried to find a horrible time in my life for Electra, and then you know a lover for uh, Miss Julie. And um, uh, I tried to. And uh, oh, I had someone definitely I could use. You've never loved me, so that was good. Um, so anyway, I, I tried to find those kind of things, and. Right. And I had fun, and I, I thought that uh, we were uh, very well directed. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I was trying to work on a you know, space is so crazy, you know. But um, I personalized Lisa because I've worked with someone similar to this character. So that wasn't hard to, to do, to really make that more of a personal thing. But, um, you know, just. You know, Jack, Jack gave some great directions, and I just tried to, uh, you know, in a short time, really tried to uh, put all that into, into action. You know? I, wish it were, I wish it was longer. I wish we could have, you know, and, and you know, I really enjoyed it. We will have longer pieces. Don't go far. <laughs> yeah, don't go far. And Jack, Jack, is this the first one you've directed for Smartphone? Because I know you've acted. One. Yes, it is. So. How was, so, because you've been on the other side twice now? Yes. So how was it jumping to the other side? Oh, it was great. And, it, and it's great because of you. You do so much and you, you make it, you know. Oh, Pashal. All, all the, all, all oh, the constraints of, of, of this medium is, you know, you, you're so good with it. And it, and it, and it gave us time to, um, to do what we had to do, and uh, and even though we we didn't really have a, as much time as obviously we always want, but I you know if the if the I love first of all I loved working with uh, Lisa and Stan. They were they were first people that came into my head when you sent me the script, and I thought before I even said yes, I said no. Who do you have in mind? And and because I already had you know so. Um, so I was just really glad about that. It was it was great to have that opportunity to to work with them, and because it is it's it's a it's a really more subtle piece than 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 dynamic, and uh, so in the short amount of time, it, it was it was kind of difficult to 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 implement that. But I I, I thought we did just real fine. I was really happy, and uh, 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 I. You know how we uh, people always say, "Well, this is really a love story," and 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 I I agree with that. And but then I realized, oh, this is a love story because they love their work. You know that they're they're, uh, they're in love with show business. You know, and uh, um, so I thought that was that was kind of uh, helpful to me when when that's what I, from where I was coming. And and Lisa gave a great uh, a great note to um, to Stan and me, and that about Henry Higgins and uh, Eliza Doolittle that, you know, he's kind of nasty to her the whole, the whole play. And then on the last line, uh, it, it all changes. And so um, I think, we, you know, we could have, we could have done that, you know, with, you know, uh, right. uh, you know, in a full opportunity to do the, the piece. Uh, but it was, it was great to see. And I was really glad uh, for the, for the opportunity. Good. Uh, we we're thrilled, thrilled with everybody. Um, I have just one. So Bruce Robinson, Bruce, whose play we did last week, he says, good to see Jack Kaler. We studied with Wynn Handeman maybe a zillion years ago. He's wow. very good for a zillion years ago, years old. Um, 
he's still devilishly handsome and he's clearly a fine director and that comes uh, from bruce <laughs> yes oh, that's sweet bruce thanks so much that was in 75 like 75 to 77. wow 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 that's great oh wait a minute we have uh let me go to i'm going to go to gina really quick Devin, don't go away um can you hear me yes hi yeah, Hi. Okay, well, uh, you guys just shined. You just shined. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Gina. Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. I lost Gina. Gina, sorry about that. I think I hit the wrong button. Am I back? You're back. Yes. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Too many buttons. That was, that was, that was a long road up the hill <laughs> to get back. Oh. But it, it, was, it was just really wonderful. It was like one of those, what they call an amuse-bouche. Uh, it's like a little appetizer to, <laughs> yeah. to which yeah. translates to amuse the mouth, where you get this little great taste of something, and you just want you want more of it. And so, hats off to Jim, and and to Stan and Lisa and Jack. Just what a wonderful, wonderful little project. Uh, thank you so much. And and Todd, you yeah, you're you're looking dashing for the occasion. There you so. Go. <laughs> <laughs> But really, really excellent guys. What a what a terrific, terrific little short bit of time with you. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have another note from Jim, our playwright, who says, we have lived north of Hollywood Boulevard for 34 years, and we've seen so much of what was and what is. And in a way, the play is, in some ways, about that. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very good, thank you, Jim. Um, yeah, Tom, Jack, Tom Alper, who you just worked with recently, says great performances all around. Jack, well directed. Mitch Levine says bravo to you all. Well done. Kudos to Cass, Gagan, and, and Jack. Lisa, you tap a mic better than anyone I've ever encountered. <laughs> and Stuart Zolly, uh, loved it. Actors were great. Stan, so understated. Great. Lisa was right out of Sunset Boulevard. Great direction from Jack and Jim's twisted mind. Another in the Great Hollywood Boulevard series from Mr. Zully. Um, wonderful. And uh, Jonathan Levin, really good writing. Jim, part of the Hollywood Boulevard series. So there's a Hollywood Boulevard series. Jim, we need to talk. Um, all right. I mean, the comments are wonderful from top to bottom. So, all right. This is wonderful. If anybody has any more questions or thoughts, please raise your hand. If not, and I'll, we'll, we'll get you going. If not, I told you we'd get you home early tonight. Um, to my actors, oh, wait a minute, Mitch Levine. See what happens? Mitch Levine. I, 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 just, I, I just wanted to add to my previous comment that, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard adopting or adapting um, any kind of text meant for the stage to this new medium. But I, I, I really think both in its conception and its choosing and in its direction and performance that this really, um, it really got to live in, in, in the Zoom world. It's, um, it's a precious thing, this, this new medium that we're all dealing with. And Jack, I, I applaud you for, for keeping it grounded and Lisa for your facility with so many different forms of our language and Stan for just, uh, being an extraordinary presence on camera. This was uh, this was a joy. Thanks, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. You're welcome. Thank you very, very much. Okay, to um, to my actors and, and playwright and director, uh, I'm going to send you a link. I, I always forget this, so I, everybody in the audience knows. I'm going to send you a link in about two minutes, just so we can have like a, a toast and after an after show toast. Um, so you'll get that. So check your email really quick. And to everyone else, if no one else has any comments or questions or thoughts, um, next week we will be back next Friday. So please come back and uh, tell your friends. Always Friday at 5 Pacific time. And um, again, thank you guys for a wonderful day. So thank you. have a great night. Told you you get home early. Okay. Bye. We'll see you Thanks, soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, see everybody, you for coming. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.